If you're ready to tone your arms, this is the perfect workout for you. We have two rounds of 10 exercises targeting the shoulders, biceps and triceps. And I encourage you to challenge yourself with your weights. So have a couple of different sizes there. And if it's too easy, go up one because our different muscles can handle different weights. And I'll talk you through that as we go. So the more you challenge yourself, the more your muscles are going to grow. Okay, we are ready? Challenge yourself, lift heavy so you can live longer. I'm so excited, let's get started. To begin, raise your right hand high above your head and hold. And then use your left hand to push through the shoulder as you raise your arm up and back down to shoulder height. Draw your belly button in towards your spine so you can stabilize your core and use your breath to exhale as you lift. Just give it a try, think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. And Great job, drop your weights and rest your arms and next up we do the other side. Next up, we're going to double up on the shoulders. So take your arms out wide and parallel to the floor and using alternate arms, push through that shoulder up and down again. Your core is tight, your back is straight and you're focusing on your shoulder muscles. Let's give our shoulders a rest and move on to the triceps. We're going to start with the tricep dumbbell extension. So we're going to rotate the elbows so that they're facing forward. Then press the dumbbell down as you extend overhead. Focus on elbows forward and that tricep muscle doing the work. Next up we have a tricep kickback to work on our bat wings and first up engage your core back straight hinge at the hips and then we're going to make sure that we keep our upper arm close to our body. You're only moving your forearms and you're engaging your triceps so focus on it and do them well.
Next up, we've got a bicep curl. So make sure to keep your elbows at the side of your body. Take a full range of motion. So we're going to go all the way to the thigh and then back up again. And we're going to do a slow raise and a quick down. So count to four as you curl your bicep and then release. You are doing so well. Have a rest and next up we're going to do a hammer curl and the difference being that the hands are facing each other with the purpose of targeting the forearm, the wrist, our grip as well as the bicep muscles. And again we're going to raise slowly so count to four and then release. Next up, we've got an upright row targeting the shoulders and the upper back. Bend the elbows to the side as you raise your dumbbells to shoulder height and you might like to try a slightly heavier weight for this exercise. Just see how you go. Next up we have an overhead shoulder press and again we're going to exhale as we raise our arms above our head, hold and then inhale as we lower back down to the shoulders. Your shoulders will be on fire and we're going to follow it up with another shoulder exercise so that we can get the maximum definition. Bring your dumbbells in towards your chest and raise your elbows to shoulder height. And as you reach the top, slightly dip your dumbbells in towards your body like you're tipping water. Keep going, you've got this.
Next up, we're going to take our arms wide, center, to the front and down. And you may need to drop your weight for this one. Try it out first, see how you go. But if it's too heavy taking your arms out wide, drop them, pick up a lighter weight and keep going. Well, you deserve a rest, so drop your weights, take a drink of water, walk around the room, and we've got 40 seconds to reset. If you're getting value from this workout, I would really appreciate if you subscribed. It's free for you and it helps me. So it's a win-win and I love that. And if you'd like to know how to put all of these workouts together, when to do weights, what day, when to do cardios, how much exercise is enough, you're going to love the 14 day challenge and I'll leave all the links in the description below. But once you make the decision to do it, you're going to be so happy you did. OK, rest up and get ready for round two. Great job, take a rest. And remember, the goal of this workout is for you to get strong. So if it's a little bit challenging, stick with it. Persevere because the work you're doing now will make a difference. Keep going, you've got this. Remember with this exercise to stabilize at the core and as you push through the shoulder, exhale and then inhale as you come down. Okay, rest up and really think about the next weight you pick up. Can you go a little bit heavier or do you need to go lighter? If your weights are becoming too heavy and your arms are tiring, drop them and keep going without the weight. The goal is to get strong and to build up resistance. So keep going and do the best you can.
Well done you and you think you're working your arms, which you are, but you're also working on balancing your hormones, stabilizing your mood and activating weight loss. So keep going, you've got this. In round two for the bicep curl, we're going to change the tempo. So we're going to come up quick for one, and then we're going to release for four. Make sure to bring your dumbbells all the way to your leg, then up quick, down for four. We're doing the same tempo for the hammer curl. So on the curl, we do one, and then on the release, we do four. Focus in on your bicep muscle, and if it's too heavy for you, drop one weight or release the weights altogether and keep doing the movement. I encourage you to persevere with this and keep strong because as we age our estrogen drops and our bone density drops and that's why it's essential for us to be lifting weights to make our bones strong and to increase our muscle mass. Keep going, we're almost there. Your shoulders are going to be on fire and if your shoulders are fatiguing go down a weight and if they're not fatiguing you can go up one but this is your workout so listen to your body and aim for improvement.
Okay, let's hit it out of the park for our second last exercise. And if you're looking for arm definition, strength and toning, you need to do this. You need to use weights, you need to challenge yourself and do exactly what you're doing right now. Awesome job, keep going, we're almost there. Look at what you just did. <laughs> We're almost there. You have put in so much effort and thank your body for what it just did. It's not about the heaviness of the weight you're lifting. It's about the effort you're putting in and your intention to grow and get better and get stronger as you get older. Last one, let's go. You are amazing. Let me know in the comments below if your arms are on fire. And if they're not, you need to go back and do it again and increase the weight. If you've got a little bit more time left, choose this workout next. It's cardio, it's gonna get your heart rate up and set you for the day. And if you'd like to know how to put all of these workouts together in a weekly plan, choose a 14 day challenge. Thank you so much for working out with me today and I'll see you tomorrow.